A huge area of growth in the financial services industries is within the insurance industry, the insurance profession, in the subset of surplus lines, excess and surplus lines. And this is an area of insurance, if you're unfamiliar with it, which are policies that are either not admitted carriers or non-filed with the regulator because it's either a new line of business or one that doesn't have a very substantial market. So if it's a, um, a niche market for insurance or if it's a new type of risk that's not really fully developed, a surplus lines carrier or an excess uh, insurer will create a market, but because of the fact that it's maybe hybrid or fluctuating, they won't have uh, filed policies or an admitted carrier in that marketplace. The premium increase is set records uh, last year. Direct premiums written grew 25%. Think about that in a large industry of something growing 25% to a record 82 billion called an exceptional gain uh, because of better underwriting in surplus lines. Well, where's all this coming from? Well, let's take a look. According to the article, what's behind the growth is mostly cyber and environmental liabilities. Think about it. Those are two areas which have very high potential losses, very high risks, but they're also relatively new risks for companies. If you're a mid-sized company, you might suddenly realize that your biggest exposure is not that your building's going to burn down, God forbid, or you have some type of uh, damage or loss from uh, physical damage. It's cyber or environmental. Many of the activities that your company is involved with in manufacturing, sales, uh, distribution, have actions that create environmental risk, certainly cyber. Even if you're not a tech company, you have computer manufacturing, you have customer lists, you have all kind of online presence which can create cyber risks. These are now massively accelerating the amount and percentage of exposure that a company has, and especially environmental, in the uh, more heightened awareness of climate change uh, and environmental um, advocacy, you're going to find that uh, that type of risk could create more losses for a company if you inadvertently create an exposure to the public. Fortunately, the fact that this has built up for several years, surplus lines insurers have reviewed their books of business and they're feeling comfortable with the risks. The segment is increasing its retention, which factors in premium growth. So what you'll find as a company is that you'll be able to get access to more markets and maybe more reasonable uh, premiums. But what you're going to find is the premium percentage for these lines may actually start to eclipse the other lines because some of the other losses and risk factors may be less of a percentage of the total risk that your company is exposed to. So work with a good broker, work with a good agent or your insurer to find out how these types of coverages might factor into your uh, line of defense. The other thing is at some point, some of these policies may not be excess and surplus lines anymore. They may become filed policies with admitted carriers, but the fact that you have a claims history might make it easier to get converted to a, a standard line at some point in the future because you have a loss run or claims history that you can demonstrate not just being a new client.